downtown Spokane. This is 4 News Now, Special Edition. Four separate Spokane community members were held at gunpoint for cash this morning. Now a suspect is in custody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Destiny Richards. The Spokane Police Department is investigating four armed robberies from this morning. SPD confirmed two of the four locations, one near Division and Buckeye and another near the crossroads of Wiley and Division. New at 5 tonight, Emily Bloom shares what we know so far. Between 7.30 and 9.30 a.m., SPD received calls for four armed robberies, all of them in North Spokane. In each incident, the suspect held the victim at gunpoint. One convenience store clerk told me that the suspect walked in the store, grabbed chocolate milk, and went to pay. He handed over a $5 bill, and when the clerk opened the cash register to give him change, the guy pulled out the gun with the other hand and told him to hand over all the cash he had, and that clerk did. SPD officers and Violent Crimes Task Force began investigating immediately and were able to track down the suspect and a vehicle. That car was found in Spokane's West Central neighborhood. The suspect tried to flee, but with the help of SPD's SWAT team, the suspect was taken into custody about 90 minutes after his final robbery. And the suspect was connected to all four robberies. SPD is still processing information, and as we learn more, we're going to keep you up to date. Reporting in studio tonight, Emily Bloom, 4 News Now. Thank you, Emily. Here's a live look over Spokane from our Skycam. It's been a beautiful day to get outside. And if you're planning to get out tomorrow, though, there's rain on the way. Meteorologist Matt Gray has your first alert forecast. All right, thank you, Destiny. And we do have a little bit of rain trying to get itself started in central Washington this afternoon. The cloud cover has slowly moved in around Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. It's going to get even cloudier as we head into the rest of the evening. You can see there is some green on the radar over Moses Lake, places like Moses Lake, Grand Coulee, and Omac. So far, however, I've been keeping an eye on the highway cameras, and it does not look like we're seeing anything as far as rain. Maybe just a little sprinkle at the Moses Lake Airport, but that's about it. The clouds look a lot scary, look fairly scary, but so far not a lot in the rain department of that. And that's what I expect really for tonight. We'll have a chance maybe for one or two sprinkles around Spokane into the Coeur d'Alene area up and down I-90 as we head towards say 9, between 9, 10, and 11 o'clock tonight. But once again, not really expecting much here this evening, just cloudy skies. Same goes for the morning. We might see a sprinkle or two, but really I'm going to be looking for places like Spirit Lake, Deer Park, Newport. Work your way north into Ponderay County. Work your way north into the Idaho Panhandle. Work your way north towards Colville. That is where we're going to be watching for some rain in the morning. But for the I-90 corridor, I expect largely dry conditions to start the day. By lunchtime, though, that is going to change. We'll have showers building as we go through the late morning and and we'll have a chance to see even, see even a few thunderstorms as we get into the afternoon. So, a busy day of weather ahead. I'm going to help you track out your afternoon and evening coming up in just a few minutes. Thank you, Matt. As we all enjoy the great outdoors through the spring and summer, the Inland Northwest Wildlife Council is reaching out to sportsmen with disabilities to help them enjoy all our region has to offer this time of year, too. They tell us it's all about access and opportunity. Those with disabilities often feel they are limited, so the Wildlife Council is removing any barriers to make it possible for these folks to enjoy their favorite hobby. It requires a doctor signing off on a disability. Then the Wildlife Council Committee will help them get listed. Some qualify for reduced rates depending on their disability. And we're here to let them know that there are ways to get out in the woods and enjoy your enjoy your life out there and opportunities to fish, hunt, or maybe just watch wildlife. Ken says for a lot of people, it's a form of therapy. For more information on how to get involved, head over to KXLY.com. And there are several construction projects going on in Spokane that may affect your drive. In downtown Spokane, Riverside is closed between Stevens and Wall, and Howard is closed between Riverside and Sprague for the Riverside Grind and Overlay Project. Construction along Riverside has become a headache for drivers and businesses downtown. The owner of Johnson's Custom Jewelry, located on Riverside, will be glad when this project's finished. We're, you know, excited that. It the road's going to be fixed and nice again because it was, you know, pretty, pretty difficult. Um, you know, the last couple months there hasn't been lines in the street and people don't know how and where they're supposed to park. So hopefully when it's all finished, um, it's going to be great and nice for our customers. The Riverside Construction Project is expected to be completed by next Saturday, April 22nd.
Crews are finishing up construction on the Thor Freya corridor between Sprague and Hartson near the Fred Meyer, which has already been home to widespread closures and delays during the project. There will be sporadic lane closures in both directions as crews replace temporary markings with permanent striping. Work is expected to finish by the end of April and then more construction starts in June. One person has died in a crash today on Trent Avenue and Floor Road in Spokane Valley. Both lanes going eastbound on Trent were initially closed while Washington State Patrol responded to the crash between a car and a motorcycle. State Patrol says a 65-year-old woman from Medical Lake died in the crash. All lanes are now back open. And we have an update to a story we first brought you on Thursday. The man found dead near the Washington State University campus Thursday morning has been identified as 19-year-old Theodore Ray Clarkson III. The Whitman County Coroner's Office says the manner of death is suicide. This is the second reported suicide near the WSU campus this year. Montana is one step closer to becoming the first state to ban TikTok on all personal devices. State lawmakers passed the ban, sending the bill to the governor's desk. The legislation would prohibit TikTok from operating within state lines and ban app stores from offering the popular app for downloads. It would not penalize individuals for using TikTok, but app stores who violate the law would face potential penalties penalties of $10,000 per violation per day. If the governor signs the bill, the ban would take effect in January. TikTok has already hinted at a potential legal challenge if the bill does become law. As you know, we spend a fair amount of time each day scrolling through our social media feeds, but your kids spend even more time online. 4 News Now did a deep dive into how social media affects children. Visit the KXY Plus app or our YouTube page to find out how social media is impacting your kids. Coming up on this special edition of 4 News Now, the Supreme Court steps into the abortion pill fight. How long until it has to make a decision on Mifepristone? And people in Florida start the long recovery process from the devastating Fort Lauderdale floods. Well, some extraordinary stuff there. Meanwhile, here we are looking for a little bit of rain to wrap up the weekend. We went from blue skies to cloudy skies. We'll go from cloudy skies to rainy skies over the next 24 hours. I'll break down the rest of your weekend and when you should probably get some things done outside if you need to for Sunday. Track live radar on the 4 News Now weather app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Mainstream Electric Heating, Cooling, Plumbing. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. If your checking account isn't earning you money, it's time to switch to bonus checking from Numerica. The account that earns an incredible 2% annual percentage yield. That could earn you up to $500 every year or more. It's the biggest sale of the season at Furniture Row. So get ready because everything is on sale. Save on living, dining, and bedroom. Plus three years, no interest. The biggest sale of the season on now at Furniture Row. You filming? Yep. Try rolling your wrist, dude. You gotta focus on balance. You should switch to sledding. I'm gonna block him. Good idea. Don't forget stick work. Hustle's paying off. Your heart is the beat of life. If you have heart failure, and trust your heart to Entresto. Entresto helps improve your heart's ability to pump blood to the body. Don't take Entresto if pregnant. It can cause harm or death to an unborn baby. And don't take Entresto with an ACE inhibitor or Alaskirin or if you've had angioedema with an ACE or ARB. The most serious side effects are angioedema, low blood pressure, kidney problems, or high blood potassium. Ask your doctor if Entresto is right for you. When it comes to baseball and Chevrolet, you won't have to look much further than the Inland Northwest to find some of the best examples of how Chevy dealers are giving back. The Diamonds and Dreams Baseball Field Renovation, hosted by Hometown Chevy and the 4 News Now's Extreme Team, ensures that those who play ball have what they need. From field upgrades to cash and baseball kit donations given to Little Leaguers, Hometown Chevy is proud to keep the dream of baseball alive. This year, they'd like to welcome Lewiston Motors and Dave Smith Motors to the Hometown Chevy Group. Check out a dealership near you today. 
For over 30 years, Denver Mattress has been improving the sleeping lives of millions, one night at a time. And check out the Summit Firm, now only $332.49, plus three years no interest and free shipping. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right mattress. The California bee industry working to buzz back from the state's cold and wet storms that prevented the pollination of various crops. The last three years of drought were not good for the honey industry. Even though the honey flow hasn't started yet this year, one industry expert says he's looking forward to a good spring. Rains have actually been a blessing for us in the sense that it's going to make for a great spring. Farmers that were not flooded and are able to farm somewhat normally, uh, they're will be bees in their fields uh, very soon, if not already. With more loss to bees this winter than ideal, Californian beekeepers are keeping bee health at top priority. Well, spring running a little bit behind all across the West, and uh, we are going to see more chilly temperatures here in the inland Northwest. So spring going to continue to run behind. When it gets here, I think it's going to be pretty beautiful around our neck of the woods as well. So a warm, cloudy night tonight before some showers, potential for even a few thunderstorms. And all of that will lead to more chilly temperatures. It's going to be another cool week. We have really had a hard time getting up into those 60s consistently. We've got one more day where we're going to see them. And because of that warmth and some moisture coming up from the south with this incoming weather system. We got a good chance for thunderstorms everywhere in the green. So across most of North Idaho and into the Colville area and then south across the Palouse to the Tri-Cities and the Blue Mountains. Not going to be for very long in the afternoon, but as you can see here with our computer model showing a decent amount of instability in the atmosphere, especially over North Idaho out ahead of kind of the bulk of the wet weather that's going to be coming through as we get into tomorrow afternoon. So would not be surprised at all if you heard your first rumble of thunder for the spring season tomorrow. But we are going to start with a couple of sprinkles and in some places it is going to be a little bit of a wet morning, although most of us are going to be staying dry. So we'll have a chance for a couple of sprinkles. This is about 7 a.m. Spokane and Coeur d'Alene. Areas to the north, though, Sandpoint, Bonners Ferry, Colville, Republic, Omak, Chewila. You will likely see some rainy weather off and on, especially in Okanagan County as we head through the morning hours. Now, by the afternoon, you can see some breaks in the clouds, especially south towards the Blue Mountains and the Tri-Cities. And we'll start to see those showers, those convective showers that could become thunderstorms pop up. And that will bring some isolated pockets of some heavier rain, maybe even some very tiny little pea-sized hail. We'll just have to see how strong these things get in the afternoon. A lot of that's going to depend on just how cloudy it stays around lunchtime. That'll be your best shot to see a little bit of rain. Not everybody, though, it will get beneficial rain out of this because of the scattered nature of those showers. Much higher rain chances talk about 70, 80 percent in North Idaho, more like 60 percent as you get across the other side of the state line in eastern Washington. This is about 7 o'clock, so we'll start to see things really ease off after that as the heat of the day kind of fades away. So if you want to get stuff done tomorrow, Definitely suggest doing things in the morning. If you run into a little sprinkle, that's way better than if you run into a big downpour later on in the day when our rain chances will be much higher. And that's not it either. I mentioned the cooler air was coming in. Folks, this is Monday night. This is our simulation where, yes, we have a chance for perhaps a little bit of wintry mix to end the day on Monday. This is about 10 p.m. We're going to keep you updated for the rest of the weekend on that part of the forecast. Definitely a few details to work out there, but just wanted to give you that first alert. Might have some wintry weather back in the forecast. Not, for, not so, though, for this evening. Temperatures in the 50s, dropping down to the 40s as we head into the night. Pretty mild, though, tonight. 43 in Spokane. Coeur d'Alene only gets down to around 44. So slowly but surely, we are getting a little bit warmer. And one more day in the 60s. Be 60 for Spokane. 61 in Coeur d'Alene. Lewiston gets into the 70s. will be in the 60s. Pretty widespread as long as you're outside of some of those mountain valleys. Put the snow icon in here. Yeah, a little bit of, little bit of everything probably on Monday with some afternoon and evening showers. And just like we saw last week, Cool temperatures, and in each afternoon, we'll see some showers pop up in the mountains. They could migrate down to the valleys, but our overall chances for wet weather are going to stay pretty low, and so will our temperatures. Well, the clock is ticking to file your taxes, but if you haven't finished your federal return yet or even started, you do get a few extra days this year. The deadline is extended to Tuesday, April 18th at midnight. If you can't make the April 18th tax deadline this year, you can file an extension. 
around the nation. On the steps of the Supreme Court today, abortion rights protesters gathered in response to a Texas judge's ruling against FDA authorization of the widely used abortion pill Mifepristone. The Supreme Court is stepping into the fight, issuing an administrative stay or pause to keep the abortion drug Mifepristone available at least until Thursday the 20th when the court decides its next steps. Both the FDA and the drug manufacturer requested this stay. The outcome of this case could have far-reaching implications. Not just access to the most commonly used uh, medication in terminating early pregnancies, mefepristone, but actually, you know, the FDA's drug approval process more broadly. This manufacturer says at issue here is federal judges second-guessing the scientific judgment of the experts at the FDA. Anti-abortion group Alliance Defending Freedom filed the original lawsuit in Texas. We're confident again that the, when the courts, with any court, looks at the fact, the facts and the law of this case, they're going to agree with us. So this is just the next step in a long, lengthy litigation. In a statement, the White House says that the stakes could not be higher and that for now, Mifepristone remains available and approved for safe and effective use. People in Fort Lauderdale, Florida are working to get back to normal after several days of chaotic flooding and widespread damage. A state of emergency was issued for one county to help provide resources for thousands after floodwaters closed the airport, businesses, and left many stranded in their homes. We're all trying to dry up at this point, so that's, that's the struggle at this point. All of our units are like an ocean. Like, I'm going to see what I can salvage, what I can pick up. I have my 90-year-old uncle I'm taking care of in the house, can't get out. I go see after my neighbor who's 86. She's supposed to go to the doctor or can't take her to the doctors, and it's, it's just terrible. Now all eyes are on another storm system that will bring more rain and potential severe weather across the southeast tomorrow. Well, we have finally arrived to the NBA playoffs as games are already underway. And this year, it's going to feature a few familiar faces from the Inland Northwest. Coming up in sports, yeah, the Warriors and the Kings will be rekindling an old rivalry that was long lo lost long ago. Stream 4 News now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. Hobbies, two for seven bucks every day. Classic beef and cheddar high. Two of those things for just seven bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. This is how legends are made. Chevy Silverado, a new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or get 3750 total value on a 2023 Silverado with a turbo high output engine. See your hometown Chevy dealer today. It's the biggest sale of the season at Furniture Row. So get ready because everything is on sale. Save on living, dining, and bedroom. Like this unbeatable deal on the Wrangler sofa, only $5.99. Save big on the Jordan Queen bed, only $4.49. Get the five-piece colors dining set for only $4.49. And check out the queen size Summit Firm for only $3.32.49. Plus three years, no interest financing. The biggest sale of the season, on now at Furniture Row. For a limited time only, get a new John Deere 1023E compact utility tractor with a 120E loader for only $199 per month. Take advantage of this exclusive offer for low monthly payments on top-of-the-line equipment that gets the job done, backed by our consistent quality customer service. Hurry in to your local Pape Machinery Ag and Turf store today to cash in on these limited time offers and get your property ready for the spring ahead. Pape keeps you moving. Dear 2030, we look forward to seeing you. After our 160-point quality assurance inspection, we'll be Toyota certified used vehicles with 7-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranties. Not to honk our own horns, but the best new cars make the best used cars. Yours, Toyota. Get 4.99% APR for up to 60 months on a Toyota certified used Camry, Corolla, or RAV4. Find yours at toyotacertified.com. Toyota, let's go places. Hobbies, two for seven bucks every day. A classic, a favorite, an Arby's legend. Two of those things for just seven bucks. Arby's, we have the meat. 
4 News Now is brought to you by the Sweet Palace and Sapphire Jewelry in Phillipsburg, Montana. In life, you never know when your name could get called to step up in a big moment. And that's the case that the Seattle pitcher Tommy Malone uh, for Tommy Malone this week as former Zag and starter Marco Gonzalez and his wife welcomed their second child on Friday. That just so happened to be the day that he was set to take the mound. So Malone was called upon from AAA Tacoma and certainly made the most of his opportunity. The 13 year veteran went four and two thirds innings, only giving up one run on three hits while striking out three batters as he helped lift the Mariners to a five to three series opening win against the Rockies and after the game saying the moment didn't get too big for him. I think it was pretty easy once I got out there. Um, I felt pretty good. You know, the adrenaline was was carrying me most of the game. Um, and, you know, I've been feeling pretty good going out and, and just pitching, you know, whether Tacoma spring training here. Um, so I was just trying to kind of ride that that ride and just go for it, you know. Went right after him, does what Tommy does. Uh, you know, he doesn't try to, to overcook it, overdo it. He just he pitches, goes back and forth, and um, that was awesome to see. It's exactly, exactly what we needed. Mariners will go for the series win coming up here in a little bit as George Kirby gets the nod tonight. After six months of games, we have finally arrived to the start of the NBA playoffs as 16 teams are still alive for a championship. And these playoffs feature a, four, a trio of former players who have played their college ball right here in the Inland Northwest. Former Gonzaga All-American DeMontis Sabonis will be headed to the playoffs for the fourth time as he helped uh, the Sacramento Kings to their postseason for the first time in 17 years. In 79 games this season he averaged a double double while shooting better than 61 percent from the field the Kings enter the playoffs as the number three seed in the Western Conference and they are going to face off against the defending champion Golden State Warriors who are helped led by former Washington State Cougar Clay Thompson now many thought he was finished after blowing out his ACL and Achilles in back-to-back -back seasons but the haters they continue to take L's on this front last week Clay became just the third player in NBA history to make at least 300 made three-pointers in a season which which also led the league this year. Thompson, the Warriors will be looking for their fifth championship in the last decade. Game one between the Warriors and the Kings is coming up right after this show. And last but certainly not least, former Bulldog Rui Hachimura will be headed to the playoffs for the second time in his career as he and the Los Angeles Lakers made it past the play-in tournament and are set to take on the Memphis Grizzlies. Hachimura started the season with the Washington Wizards before being traded to LA at the midway point. Since joining the Lakers, he's averaged nine points a game and bringing in almost five rebounds. And don't forget, KXY is your exclusive home for the NBA Finals starting on June 1st. And can't forget about the Stanley Cup Final. That'll get underway on June 8th as the Seattle Kraken are set to begin their first playoffs on Tuesday against the Colorado Avalanche. And it's been quite another week in the offseason for the Gonzaga men's basketball program as the hits keep coming for the players announcing their departure from this team. The week started with junior, uh, junior guard Julian Strother declaring for the NBA draft just weeks after hitting the game winning shot to propel the Zags into the Elite Eight. This isn't the first time he's tested the NBA waters. Last offseason, he decided to do the same, but ultimately returned and had the best season of his career, averaging more than 16 points a game while shooting better than 41% from beyond the arc. Now, early projections have him as a late first round, early second round draft pick. And senior guard Malachi Smith also announcing he would be testing the NBA waters. In his lone season at Gonzaga, he was named the West Coast Conference Sixth Man of the Year as he averaged eight points a game and was Gonzaga's most efficient guard in the NCAA tournament, shooting more than 50% from the field. Now, there was some initial confusion about his eligibility earlier this week, but he can return to school if he so likes to because he's only declared twice. Destiny, send it back over to you. Thanks, Alex. And here's a story that's been trending on KXY.com all day. Ash from a volcano in eastern Russia made it all the way to the inland northwest. The volcano erupted on Tuesday only 500 miles from Alaska's Aleutian Islands. The ash cloud forced flight cancellations between Alaska and the lower 48 and even some at the Spokane Airport. That ash is now impacting airports further inland this weekend in Colorado, Wyoming and Montana. 4 News Now Special Edition will be right back. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the 4 News Now app. If you have a fear of missing out, you might want to start earning with a free Camus Rewards card because, dude, Camus Rewards at Northern Quest for all the ways you play. 
It's the once a year spring tune-up event this week at the Cal Superstores in Airway Heights, Coeur d'Alene, and Spokane. Hi, I'm George, and I'm offering great deals on over 300 of the best rigs in the region. And I'm Mustachio, offering up to $600 in free upgrades with every vehicle sold, like lifts, light bars, fenders, and tires, so you can customize your ride. It's perfect! Like the deal and love your wheels. It's the biggest sale of the season at Furniture Row. So get ready because everything is on sale. Save on living, dining, and bedroom. Like this unbeatable deal on the Wrangler sofa, only $5.99. Save big on the Jordan Queen bed, only $4.49. Get the five-piece colors dining set for only $4.49. And check out the queen size Summit Firm for only $3.32.49. Plus three years, no interest financing. The biggest sale of the season, on now at Furniture Row. Dear Exit Strategy, all your pieces are in place. A tranquil lake, a serene sky, an emerald forest, a secret hideout. Thanks for being there just when I need you most. Always Toyota SUVs. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan with roadside assistance. Visit your local Toyota dealer to learn more. Reserve yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. At Northern Quest, we offer the lowest minimum bets and highest maximum bets. Because only you know if you're feeling lucky, punk. I mean, valued guest. Northern Quest. Yes, the best. 4 News Now is brought to you by George Gee Buick GMC. And for your forecast tomorrow, still going to be warm, still going to feel pretty good outside, but a lot cloudier. And then we will have a chance for some showers and thunderstorms, mainly in the afternoon. Wouldn't be surprised if you saw one or two sprinkles out there in the morning. Enjoy that warmth because, oh, lo and behold, we are getting chilly again. We just can't seem to stay too warm for too long, but we'll get there eventually. And a couple thousand Junior Bloomies run in their in the annual Junior Blooms Day tomorrow. Kids who finish the race get a bunch of prizes, including a ticket to Silverwood. And don't forget, game one between the Warriors and Kings is coming up right after this. Clay versus DeMontis, Cougs versus Zags. Doesn't get any better on a Saturday night. Should be a fun series here. And like I said, a lot of these games are going to be on KXY, so make sure you tune in to us to uh, watch that. And also the hockey. I was about, about to say, yeah, we are, we're jam-packed this spring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll be on at all random hours. But hey, just <laughs> stay tuned after those games and before those games, and you know we'll be on. We'll be keeping you updated. Absolutely. Definitely keep with us right here. And thank you so much for joining us here on this special edition of 4 News Now. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Download the 4 News Now app today. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now.